Jesus. I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were, you know. I wouldn't have guessed she was married to not you. I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out of <laughs> here? Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. And maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make them go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell. Only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out. Well, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Is that Eleanor and I, we were something at some point, but nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Clementine. You should be more careful with this. Where are you even now? I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there. With David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned 
that the hard way. Hadi bakalım hikayesi neymiş anlatır inşallah. This brand is alive. It's a lie that says you can trust us. You belong. They don't care about their people. They promised they'd help him. But they were going to let him die. Here it is. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. I have to try. I need you to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh, see? It's not so bad. <coughs> AJ, shh. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. <laughs> What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? Did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough. We should have left him out in the woods a week ago. But look, it's helping. It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. But that's the reality. 
That's more than you did, any of you. That's not fair. You ungrateful little shit. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. This was about his survival, so don't you dare judge me. It's always about survival. We have a better chance of it with you gone. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Oh, huh. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. Get out of my fucking way. Right now. Clem. He's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Many of them push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. A garage door. Might be able to get in that way. It could be full of walkers. Only one way to know for sure. Oh man, this thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up! Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Okay, not so close. Just... Use that 
Kolda da arabanın içinde kesin. Too close. Hopefully that door holds him. Just like you did. The fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty rancid stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. You think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. All this time, you're still an asshole. And you're still naive. Protecting family is not the same as protecting an entire community. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. Oh no, he lived. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was a miracle. You're lying. That's great, Clem. This is good news. How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? 
We used to store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. Shit, board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There. Help me. Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. Eh, ne oldu ki? Niye şaşırdı? What the hell is all this? This could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but I might be going crazy, but I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck it. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you, Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. <laughs> David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him. He's getting away. Go. Get Badger. Bastım Junkyard. You 
If I'd have known you were Dave's brother, I'd have shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Goddamn guts out. Uh, uh, fuck. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <gülüyor> Not anymore. Fuck her and fuck you too. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. Tabi ki öldüreceğim. Enough, man. He's gone. For God's sake, Bobby! Get a goddamn hold of yourself. Hey, it's time for us. Richmond. Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She, she said we Don't needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. It's most hurt than the others. Get to the mother. Maybe it'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. You damn right it did. Bastard deserved everything he got. Be careful, Javi. Act like a beast. You risk what makes you human. Don't become the thing you hate. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. Ooh, my friend took a crowbar to someone once. <coughs> my people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. 
Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. <clears throat> we need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. Thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. Teşekkürler, sağlık, seyirs. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the new frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Sure, this way. Give me a little credit, Clem. I can handle David. I really hope you're right. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. He's gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. <laughs> Damn it! We needed to 
distraction. How's your throwing arm? Mm. What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. You couldn't have just taken out a window. <clears throat> Did the trick, didn't it? Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. We have to leave, Gabe. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Your dad's taking care of a few loose ends. And right now, he needs me to take care of you. Oh, okay. David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. <laughs> Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's a shrewd operator. You can't believe a word she says. That doesn't exactly put me at ease. It shouldn't. The thugs who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. It's David's fight, Kate. And we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? <laughs> Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. <clears throat> Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But... He won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. <laughs> we ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. Just know that if we do run into her, she's not a big fan of your dad. Why not? You should ask her. Or maybe both of them. We need to go, okay? 
Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. We were in the thick of it, Kate. If he thrives in this shit, that only improves our chances. Just because he likes it doesn't mean he's good at it. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here, don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's see some fireworks. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. It's over, Joan. You can stop your posturing. Posturing? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities. Sending your men to murder and loot. Really? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Start talking right now. Unless you want to follow your friend. Me, Badger, and, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is how could I not? Uh -huh. What, what would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. If you had such good reasons, why keep it a secret? I took the hard decisions on myself. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. <clears throat> Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? 
We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Hmm. All right, Pajon. Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. <laughs> You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. Cana bir öldürebilsek iyi olacaktı. Richmond bize kalacak o zaman. Yok Griezmann, DBD yok ya. 
DBD yayınları pek açmıyorum artık. O işi Ayt diye bıraktık. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? If you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. You want to make money? Get a job. <sighs> Whatever. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah, you should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? <laughs> Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! <coughs> Fuck! You gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hobby. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. My God, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. <laughs> You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David. I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. <clears throat> I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. 
you gotta be around to, you know, coach him on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Javi? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get evet, yavaş yavaş kapatmam lazım. Bir save dosyası alsın da. Ah, tam da şansıma. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them. And that's your mistake right there. <coughs> you can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey. I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah, you talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again, now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive. No matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us. All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. We can beat this together. Fine. Whatever. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, 
I need to ask you some questions. In private. Bring him with us. Şimdilik yeter. Şimdilik yeter. 